Monday. It's uh, the middle of February almost. I guess technically it is pretty much the middle of February because it's a shorter month. Yeah. Um, and it just it hasn't felt like February very much. No, I mean, we had a nice weekend. Today is starting off warmer than normal. And the whole week ahead in general looking very mild. Right. Even another 60 degree day possible, Patrick. It's fine with me. We did get a little bit of rain last night. If an offshore storm system delivering about a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain along the Rhode Island coastline, you can see a little more south and east. Uh, Hyannis, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, with about a third to a half of an inch of rain and finally drying out there. But again, we're now back to quiet weather and even getting a few breaks in the cloud covers. You can see here from our new Bedford camera. It's just another mild week leading our three big things. No big storms in the way, but we do have more rain later in the week and potentially tonight a passing sprinkler or a flurry. And so we'll talk about that right now. Middle 40s in Providence and New Bedford up to 47 in Westerly and about 42 degrees in Smithfield. The winds are making it feel cooler. They're gusting still between 20 and 30 miles per hour on average. Even have had some gusts over 30 on the Cape and Islands. Winds will remain active early this afternoon, but the trend will be for them to die down as that ocean storm continues to move away. Here it is right now sitting south and east of Nantucket. And you know, typically in this position as it brushes by in the middle of February, you'd expect to see some snowfall, but there was just no cool uh, cold air to work with. And so that low brushing bias with some rain Got another upper level disturbance cutting across central Canada right now. We'll keep an eye on that for the early part of the night tonight as it could deliver that passing sprinkler flurry. But I expect us to be dry rest of this afternoon. Three o'clock temperatures around 45 by five o'clock. We're at 43 degrees sun setting at about a quarter past five. And then later this evening we'll be continuing to fall into the middle 30s by 11 or 12 o'clock. That risk of a sprinkle or a flurry passing through and you can see that this is our hour by hour forecast but that point mid to upper 30s for temperatures and we won't change much from that six o'clock in the morning clouds and any precipitation is long gone and we're back to some sunshine and it'll stick around for your Valentine's Day. In fact, the temperatures tomorrow even a little warmer than today. We're going to be up near 50 degrees with plenty of sunshine, a little bit of a breezy wind in the morning. But if you're grabbing lunch with your sweetie, not bad. 49 for the temperatures lunchtime and dinner will be right around 40. Wednesday's highs near 53 degrees, keeping an eye on a frontal system on Thursday out ahead of the front and any rainfall. We get a surge of very warm air temperatures up near 60 degrees rain likely Thursday night tapering off on Friday as a cold front swings across the area. So those mid 50s will be the temperature in the morning hours and falling and by Friday night and Saturday morning we get another shot of briefly cooler air down to about 20 Saturday morning with a high in the 30s. But Sunday afternoon it looks like we're right back into the same old same old winter 22 23 more mild air highs near 50 yet the other